So Ty Lawson was released yesterday from the Chinese Basketball Association. What does he do now? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think he goes back to the NBA. I'm sure there are teams that will give him chances, but essentially he was banned from the Chinese Basketball League. He played three seasons there, two for Shengdug, uh, Shengdug Golden Stars, and one for Fujima. Um, he was banned for apparently posting something on Instagram that the Chinese government said was disrespectful. Um, where does he go from now? He's only 32. Yeah, he's 32. He still has a little bit of basketball left. He did play in North Carolina State with the Tar Heels, winning an NCAA championship in 2009 before coming into the league. Um, I don't really know where he goes. I don't know where anyone will give him a contract. Now, I think he might uh, look at an NBA return just because playing overseas can get kind of hard. Not seeing your family and all that fun jazz. But he hasn't really played in the NBA since 2016, 2017. So you're looking at three years there. Uh, last playing at Sacramento. Uh, appearing in 69 games and averaging 9 points 9.9 points a game, so not really a lot of production. Um, only started 24 of those games. Once again, for most of his career, he was a starter, but he had some pretty good years starting, but I don't think he comes back to the NBA now. I can see him going and maybe getting a G League contract, maybe doing that, but does a G League team take a risk on him? Because he had some arrest. He's been noticed for driving intoxicated a couple of times. Um, that's not something I would want on my team, also in careless driving. I mean, he got a, a drive, uh, DUI charge in 2008 when he was 20. I mean, we all do stupid shit when we're 20, but man, to be cat drinking and driving, um, looks like his last arrest came back in 2015, that was only five years ago. Um, once again, for driving under the influence. So I don't know if uh, a team takes that on. Plus with the posting on Instagram, I don't know an NBA team that take that on. Um, I think his best chance if he wants to go back and play in North America is maybe try the G League. Maybe a G League team takes him, takes him on because he does have, you know, he's been a couple couple of years in the NBA. I think 10 years in the NBA. No, not 10, sorry, 6 years in the NBA. Uh, bouncing around with a couple of teams. But does an NBA team take that risk now? He's 32 I mean, it'd be different if he won a title and things like that, but he hasn't won a title. He's won an NCAA title. He might go to Charlotte because there's that, you know, he played for North Carolina, so maybe Jordan will give him a chance. Um, maybe the Blazers will. They've been known to take chances, but honestly, I think he goes, if he wants to come back to North America, and I'm not sure if he does or doesn't, he goes to the G League, maybe tries to get some money out of the G League. Um, he might go on a veteran minimum contract, get that veteran minimum money and try to play your way there. Uh, I can see a team offering him a summer league deal and going, hey, you're coming in summer league, we'll work you out and we'll see what happens. You know, you were an NBA player at one point, see if you still got it. All that fun jazz. But it's because of the arrest and now with the social, with the Instagram stuff, I can't see a team in the NBA taking a chance. Um, I think if he goes to Amer North America, his best bet will be the G League. Uh, maybe he'll get trapped there and play his way into it. If he plays well enough, you can forget the social media crap, but, I mean, I don't I don't know. Um, he might go, end up going to Canada. There are teams in the National Basketball League here in Canada and the CB, or the Canadian Elite League that would that would uh, take a chance on him. I mean, the, the teams in the National Basketball League have taken chances on a lot of worse players. Satnam Singh comes to mind, nothing against Satnam. Uh, but there has been teams who've taken chances on players and it not work out. Uh, there's a bunch of leagues in North America. You can also go to Mexico, Puerto Rico, probably play there for a little while. Um, but then again, you know, there's a bunch of leagues in Europe. I think he'll do okay. He's only 32. Uh, still got a lot of basketball to play, and he's been to the NBA and won an NCAA title. So maybe teams will be looking for that. Uh, but with the baggage of, you know, the driving while taxi had charges plus domestic abuse. I don't know a lot of teams that would take that. Plus, he's now banned from the Chinese Basketball League or Association. So, I don't know what you do if you're Ty Lawson. 
Um, hopefully he can get his shit together. And, you know, at least, you know, figure out what he's doing wrong. Maybe go to rehab and see, maybe play that way. But, I don't know. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe. I wish I could tell you more. But, I don't know what he does. Uh, you all have a great day, though, all the same. Uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.